Howdy folks, Kirk and family here with Kirk Giordano Plastry. Today, I want to uh, talk about something that a lot of subscribers are asking me about. They're saying, Kirk, where do you get those uh, holders that put concrete nails in with magnets? Now these, these, these have been around for like 40 years, guys. Um, in our videos, almost every one of them, we got a link that goes to Amazon. You can go right to that link and you can buy these. Uh, generally, I've been using these guys right here for about 25 years. And if you use them long enough and you hit them hard enough with sledgehammers to get the nails into cinder block, concrete, brick, anything solid, um, you'll beat them up. Like this one here, my magnet head is wobbly. It's wonky. So uh, I'm not going to use either one of these. Jay just happens to have a couple. Now, this brand new one is what I'm talking about. These concrete nails, guys, and by the way, you look at it and say, what's that? That's nothing. You try to put a concrete nail in longer than this, it'll bend. It, it just won't work. I do have a one inch concrete nail here, and this is for grout, guys. If you try to pound this in this foundation, it won't go, it'll just bend. So I'm telling you folks where to, where to get these now, just Amazon and link, and Here's Jay's. Now, this one is pretty cool because it has a hand protector. I'll show you. Now, what I did is they got the chimney here and they said, Kirk, can you tie that chimney in so it won't move? <laughs> I said, no, I can't tie it in so it won't move. It's a 90-year-old chimney. It weighs possibly 12 tons and the foundation is settling. So I said, I can tie it in, but really it's going to be more cosmetics. And so what we did is we put this peel and stick and shoved it way in there. And now I'm going to put um, a piece of wire here and it'll tie it in. But is it going to stop this chimney from moving? Not quite, guys, but for the sake of uh, showing you how to use these concrete nails uh, magnets, I'll show you right here because now, granted, we, they tried a lot of methods to stop the chimney from moving. No fiber no fiberglass mesh, nothing is going to stop this chimney from moving, guys. So I promised them I'd do this, so we broke it out. We put the weld crete, and now we're going to wire that in. Now, for example, here's a new one. This one is not pitted, so the nail will hold on easily. Now, I'll just show you. What I like to do is go into the grout. And so you, you get it right here, boom, you're in. That, that holds you. It doesn't take a lot of strength or effort and uh, no those power guns uh forget the names of them uh, ram sets i feel like you're in a western movie you're shooting that uh it makes a lot of noise guys but i'll show you if you guys think well madeline baby you got that uh sledgehammer over there that yellow one oh thank you baby thank you thank you let me go with uh this congo guy here and if you guys think gee i might hit my finger Splurge, man, this is about like 12 or 15 bucks. It's about 20 bucks. Uh, I'll show you on the going through stucco as well as uh, the grout. Now, what you do is you put this anywhere, guys. And if you go crooked, it's not going to go in, guys. And just tap it here. Once you get it started, boom. Now, I'm going to hit that in flat and cover it with stucco when I get ready to do it. But the point I was trying to make, guys, is... You can go into the grout with, uh, looking for that one inch nail, uh, with the one inch nail, like say, okay, here it is. And if you do this and you bust your fingers, see, it'll go in the grout easy, but concrete, cinder block, it won't go in very easy. So you need these little half inch nails. And I'd advise you guys to spend a few bucks because I bloodied a few fingernails and when they bleed they hurt then they eventually fall off this one here even if you're a little sloppy guys because you're in a hurry or it's, it's at the end of the day four o'clock you're thinking man i got to get home <laughs> use this one here so you don't jack up your hands and bloody your fingers we still got a long ways to go here but i thought i'd i'd point that out guys just on all of our videos man we just show you, you know, the best price, uh, just go in the description. And you can see all these things because you're not going to find them at Home Depot or Lowe's. Uh, you can get them at the professional plastering yards, but that's about it, guys. Anyhow, my name is Kirk, and for all you folks who say, where do you get those mag um, magnet holders with, uh, for concrete nails? Amazon. 
Anyway, folks, we thank you for watching, and as usual, we'll see you guys on the next one. By the way, folks, my dad and I are now members of Amazon Affiliates, so if you're looking to buy any of the plastering or construction tools you've seen in our videos and you want to support us in the process, you can check the links below our video or you can go to our website and get them there. If you have any other questions that for tools we don't have linked, email us direct and we'll respond to you then. Once again, folks, we thank you for watching and I really enjoy all your comments. If you guys like this video, please click the like button down below. And also, if you enjoy what we do, subscribe to our channel so we can keep making these videos for you. My name is Kirk. And Jay. We thank you for watching. And from the entire Giordano family, we'll, we'll see you on the next one.